Okay. Can anyone hear me? 15 arguments with yep. yes, Astra? Yes, I can hear you. Cool. We're likely to drop out 17 or 106 times tonight because we had a storm this afternoon. And as you know, Telstra, being an Australian company, they have absolutely no experience with a product called rain. So when you get rain, your internet doesn't work. I'm even using the hotspot on my phone to do this. And guess what? It still doesn't like it. Absolutely hopeless. Right. Let's see what we can get through tonight. I apologize in advance. Uh, we've dropped out completely about four or five times since I started at seven o'clock. And we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We'll try and get this recorded and get it up on YouTube as soon as we can. So, okay, everybody, here we are on the 18th of October. And we're traveling rapidly through the year because there is a Christmas approaching at a rate of knots. And as we get closer to it, all sorts of things are going to change. Apparently, that will even let us travel internationally just because it's Christmas and you can't catch any viruses at Christmas. So, okay. Tonight, we've got a lot of information. I am really excited. We've had a lot of great news today. We've been playing with some software for a while that will enhance everything that we're doing. And I'll give you a brief, very brief look at it tonight and a couple of other pieces of software that are in test mode to show you what we're working on and why you need to be a member because we've now got access to income streams that are being funneled into your wallet. So let's have a look at our information video, see if it'll run, see what happens.
There we go. That bit worked. And now, of course, the hotspot on my phone has dropped out and now we're back on the Wi-Fi. It's insane what's going on. But as you know, Telstra is always out there with the rain. They know exactly how to handle it. Not. Okay. Moving right along. Don't let me get on my soapbox because I'll get carried away. Let's move on. Remember, this is our opinion. We're expressing our view as affiliates only. We do not represent the companies that we talk about, and we don't give financial advice. What we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is we're creating avenues for you to generate income streams and putting them into a single wallet, and you don't need to be a tech head to do it. You'll notice Tonight, later on, when I show you what some of this stuff is doing, it's exciting because there's nothing else like it in the world. So let's have a look at a merchant information. Now, Mr. Loveday, are you on the call? Can you? Yep. There he is. Yep. Cool. We're going to talk about Loveday vehicle lubricants, but I do want to remind you that Australia Post is in absolute chaos at the moment. If you send a, an overnight express envelope and you pay for it, it might take two weeks to turn up. And when you go onto the Australia Post website to claim the guarantee, they've suspended all delivery guarantees for the moment. So it's pretty ugly. Anyway, let's get into Love Day Vehicle Lubricants. Mr. Love Day, how are you doing? We are doing reasonably well, Mr. Miller. Fantastic. Now, you and I had a discussion the other day, and you shared with me some news, which I think everyone should think about, because the PM lubricants that you used to sell, and they disappeared because the owner of the brand decided to retire, now there's some news about that. Yeah, in the in the coming month or so, another company has taken it over, and and the thing about it is that all the product now will be um, blended here in Queensland, up at Urangan. Fantastic! And we can we can send the send the oil everywhere in Australia. <laughs> Post office allowing. <laughs> as long as you're not using Australia Post. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm like getting a pl private plane or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've used that PM lubricants oil for years, as you know, Doug. Yeah. And I was really disappointed when the guy decided to shut up shop and go home, the founder of it. But this is great news because I'm just about to buy another car, as you know. And I'll be needing to change the oil and put PM lubricants in it. Yeah, well, you know, Derek, in, in this day and age where fuel prices are going, going up through the roof, it, it's most important that we get the best fuel economy out of our vehicle. And isn't it, isn't it easy? It's just a matter of changing the oil in the diff, in the engine, or other parts of the car so you know if you can get a say you can get a 10 percent improvement in fuel economy that reduces your, your significantly reduces the cost of fuel absolutely so you know a lot of people mightn't see it that way but that's the way i look at it i do as well doug because it adds up every kilometer you do 
if you can save just a percentage of your fuel costs because you've added um, a lubricant system that, in fact, does work, then you're way in front. You're not wrong. And I remember you saying to me the first time I tried this oil, why don't you try this PM lubricants because it'll stop that car blowing smoke. It's worth how many, years, how many years ago was that? Oh, oh, I actually don't know. It was four or five, five years ago. Yep. Would it be? Uh, I would think. Yep. And that car, when you used to start it, there was a huge cloud of blue smoke. And now, here we are, five years on, it still doesn't blow blue smoke because it's running that, still running PM lubricants in it. Right. I was gobsmacked. I didn't believe it when you suggested it. Uh, and I've got to be honest, the only reason I bought the oil to try it was so you'd leave me alone. I'm a believer. <laughs> Yeah, it you, th you absolutely think that's the worked. truth? And it, it was such a simple solution. Just tip that's the right. Yep, and it gives, it gives you a, probably about 10% extra power. Yeah, I know you wouldn't use that, but you know, Enjoy. that's what it does. Yeah, well, I'm, I've got to say I'm excited to hear that it's going to be back on the market, Doug, because I'll be picking up another vehicle in a in a week or so. And, yeah, I'm real keen to get it into this vehicle as soon as I pick it up. So here's um, Doug's email address and phone number if, if you want to talk to him. I know we've hooked Dougie up with some truckers and – and made a big difference to their fuel consumption and, and the way the trucks operate. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you need to, if you have a vehicle, you need to have this oil in it. Give Doug a call or send him an email to lovedayvehiclelubricants at gmail.com. Notice it says lovedayvehiclelubricants at gmail.com. <laughs> so... An important part of about this is that there, I've all got oil at the present time that's uh, significantly cheaper than what it used to be. Now, that, not many places can say that in this in this high inflation world. Correct. So I'll be giving you a call in about a week and we'll get together and I'll purchase some PM lubricants or whatever oil you've got in the truck at the moment so that I can yep. get this vehicle swapped over. Thank you, Derek. Thanks, and Doug. Thanks, Jen. Okay, bye. Talk soon. Will do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, why are we here? Well, we're actually a group of like-minded people focused on ensuring that we survive the economic turmoil that's coming and we can see the world is changing and we need to pay attention. It really, really is quite scary, some of it. The good thing is we already have the answer. So let's have a look, just quick run around of the world and see what's out there. $500,000 Bitcoin and $5,000 an ounce gold. That was on Kitco News just a couple of days ago, and it was a great, interesting listen. I will have the link, again, as I usually do, saved in the YouTube video. You'll see in the description. There is there in the notes. I'll have the link there for this video. It's a great listen. And this is a gentleman who... Very, very conservative, another Kitco News podcast. But he talks about the fact that gold is going to continue to increase given everything that's happening in the world. And, yep, I don't think there's any question that that's going to happen. I think we've got, we've got our hands on the golden goose, as they say. Here's... Uh, this is now Stansbury Research. This guy, 
talks about in this podcast how happy he is with the price of gold because he's just buying more of it. He sees it as a great buying opportunity. He does at some point talk about silver, I think, in this one. I've listened to two that he's been in in the last week or so. Um, he's very, very happy with what's going on in the gold and silver market because he sees it as a way to guarantee his wealth in the long term. Now, this one's quite scary. This gentleman is tied, in fact, does a lot of podcasts with Mike Maloney from goldsilver.com. He's talking about 20% plus inflation. <coughs> now, excuse me. Now, that's quite scary when you look at it because the government's assuring us that they're going to hold it at around 2%. And here we go. I've got to suggest maybe possibly that our politicians aren't the sharpest tools in the shed because they don't control inflation. They try really hard to do that, but guess what? And we'll talk about some of this tonight. Inflation is going to be whatever it wants to be, and we've got to do our best to survive it. Here's Mike Maloney, as I mentioned before, and he's talking about what's going on in the economy is a trapdoor for America. And about two years ago, in one of my webinars, I talked about the fact that China had a roadmap to undermine the US dollar, and obviously for the reasons that they want to be the, the world's reserve currency, and they're, they're not yet. And it's now coming to fruition that the US has gone out onto a very, very thin branch, and they're hanging on by a thread. So we're, we're talking about, remember, the US dollar, not necessarily America itself the US dollar. So it's interesting to see what's going on and what these commentators talk about because all of it is reflecting on exactly what we thought was happening a couple of years ago and it looks like it's all coming to fruition. Now, here's my friend Gregory Menorino and He's been warning about a collapse of the share market in America for about a year. But he's been quick to point out that it's not going to happen now. However, he's now starting to change that tune that it will happen and it's very, very close. So I've heard commentators talk about anything from 30 to 80% Price reduction in shares, who knows? You know, we have, we have no insight into how that's actually going to happen. But Gregory Manorino is very good, and scarily, he's been right on a number of occasions. And when I say right, I mean he has picked to the day when something has gone down or up in a big way. So pay a bit of attention. He's well worth listening to. And see what you can get out of it, because I learn something every time I listen to any one of these. So what's your opinion? What do you think is going on in the world? So let's have a look at what we see happening in China, because, man, isn't there some ducking and weaving going on in China at the moment? And all of which is going to help us because the metals business is going to increase. Scary number. There was a report came out of China yesterday on the Chinese housing bubble. And wow, when you look at the numbers, these are really, really scary numbers. I was talking to Tony this afternoon about about 20 years ago, I was watching a TV show. It was either Today Tonight or 60 Minutes, something like that. And they were doing a series on the building boom in China and how the Chinese housing market was booming. And they were building these high rises and apartments and houses and everyone was excited. It was going ahead. But there were very few people actually in the towns. And they had an enormous story about 
how great it was because the Chinese government was supporting this growth, that it was all going to be wonderful. And we should learn something from that by copying that system and maybe adopting it here in Australia. Well, guess what? China now has, officially as of 48 hours ago, a 62 trillion, that's T, trillion, bubble. And they have no way out. 62 trillion. Now, I know that people have been aghast at the size of the US debt. Um, <laughs> it, when you look at the, that number with a T in front of it, 62 trillion, that's an enormous number. And yes, that's a real number. It's a problem. How do they cope with that? The Lehman Brothers collapse was nothing like that. So what does it mean? Well, precious metals are growing again. We're seeing steady growth in the price, and I can tell you it's going to continue to do that. This should, in fact, start the Chinese population buying metal again because they went away from metal and were buying shares. Have a guess what? Now they're $62 trillion in debt with their housing shares, and that's only the housing bubble. In reality, that's about a 4 or a 5% decline in the Chinese economy if that comes to fruition. And I don't think there's any outcome. I don't think there's a positive outcome. I, I can't see it. And as Jan said, they're now blowing these buildings up. Yes, they are. They're trying to get rid of them because they can't get people to buy them and move into them, so they're destroying them. It's an enormous problem. However, from the positive side, remember precious metals, gold and silver. Should we pay attention to this? You bet we should, because this is what's happening in the world. The economies that we've known in the past are changing. People are moving on. There is a process that is getting people to look after their own system, and it's called Be Your Own Bank. We'll come along into that as we get further into this. So I made a statement last week that everyone should be on the call tonight because I'm going to demonstrate some numbers and show people how our wallets are working. We've had them in test mode for a while. We're about to launch into them in quite a big way. Uh, it's exciting because we've structured this in a process that secures what you own without it risking any of it. And it's very difficult to do that. And today we got even more news. Um, I'm really excited about what I got today. I'll show you a screenshot of that and we will uh, work on that in the coming weeks. But wow, if you'd have told me in November or December last year that this was going to take a year to get to fruition, I would have laughed in your face. I couldn't believe it could possibly take that long. But yes, it does. And in fact, one of my scheduled conference calls for nine o'clock tonight with developers has already been postponed till tomorrow night because something's happened over there. But just remember, nobody else has this. How is it funded? So this is how we're funding the member benefits. It's really important that you understand this because the key difference is nothing that the member benefits program does impacts your wallet. So when you spend $100 to buy metal, so your one BV, and remember this is mathematical, so if you spend $500, that's five BV, but the same thing happens. AU4U has a margin on that transaction. Now, it's not a big margin, but it's a margin nonetheless. Here's how this works. That little bit at the end, about half of the company margin, is what's used for the arbitrage program. So you've bought your metal, and the company has given up half of its margin to put it into an arbitrage program. 
I don't know anywhere else in the world where you'll find someone that'll do that for you. It means that only a piece of the company margin is used. Thus, the metal that you purchase is never at risk. You own it. You can save as much metal as you like, and all you'll do is increase the amount of money that goes in the arbitrage program, which will increase the amount of money that comes back to you as a member benefit. See if you can find another program that does that. This is unique. Everything that's happening with the wallet, separate to you buying metal, is funded by the company, not your money. Okay? How does it really work? Well, here's where the arbitrage, I'm going to play this little video. Here's the arbitrage bot actually working. Now, if you look really closely down here in the left-hand side, you'll see these numbers changing. So that's the arbitrage bot actually looking at the market and trying to decide when to take a profit. Now, if you look over on the right-hand side, you'll see yields down here, 35.5, 51.66, 40.8, 7 and you'll see I've just scrolled down on the video. They're all green. There's no red losses there. That's what arbitrage does. So we're creating cash flow that goes into your wallet as a member benefit. And you will, you will actually get that yield into your wallet. Now, right at the bottom of that scroll down, when it happened before, you may have been quick enough to notice there was a red line at the bottom. There you go, opening fee. So they charged us 0.059% to open the wallet and get it set up. But since then, if you look over on the left-hand side here, so there's a total of 140 US dollars in the, in the arbitrage at the moment. It's created in the last few days 50 cents, 50.92 cents of profit. Remember, this is arbitrage. There are no red lines there for losses. The system does not do losses. Now, the good part about that is your money in your wallet is not at risk. This is funded by the company. Now, the $140 that's in there is just an amount that I placed in the wallet to test it. It was not anything that came from the company. I, I set it up and started it because we've had someone else in America testing it for us for the last month. He was at the point where he was so comfortable with it that he said to me, right oh, now you open a wallet and test it with your money and Probably next week, we will start a company one for the members and we'll start to fund it. So once you see how this works, remember, this is not funded by you. There is no point in this process where you're going to be asked to put money into it. It doesn't work like that. This is funded by the company. So everything that comes into your wallet as a member benefit is completely unencumbered. You own it. Whatever the amount of metal is that you get in your wallet, you own it. You can take it home. You can sell it. You can do whatever you like with it. But please understand, we are not a trading platform. Don't buy your metal today and try and sell it tomorrow. You will lose money. The market has to go through an enormous spike for you to do something like that. What we're about is creating metal that you can buy and save. And when you're ready, you can take it out and go to a bullion dealer and sell it, or you can sell it on the market. But hold that thought, because in a minute, I'm going to show you how we're going to convert that into cash for you. Right. Let's just keep going and have a look at the next slide. Now we're going to talk about the other wallet that we've been testing. Now, arbitrage is trading, but it's specifically 
arbitrage. So you can't lose money with it. This is node systems. So they operate on blockchains. No trading. Again, can't lose money with it unless every cryptocurrency in the world collapses. That's unlikely to happen. So let me show you why this is a good idea. So here's a screenshot of a wallet, and, and this has been in test mode since about, I'm going to say October last year. And I, the yields were so good that I actually didn't believe it. I wanted to understand how it worked and what it did, because if you look at that uh, on the, on the left-hand side there, it says week one profit. October 1 to October 7, 2.2%. That's a week. A week. Not a year like you'd get in a bank. That's a week. Let's have a look at the next screenshot. So this is 2020, as you can see by where it says detailed report here. Let me see if I can get my little doohickey to play games. Laser. There we go. Yep. Detailed report, 2020. Total net profit, 185 euros. The balance, the 2020 return, 124.3%. Remember, this is funded by the company. This is not funded by you. So nothing that you do is at risk. 124.3% for 2020, and that was only a few months. Let's have a look at the next one. Here's 2021. Notice the net profit, 1,292.5 euros, 99.4% for 2021. Now, remember, we're halfway through October, so that will increase. Again, this is not trading. This is the collection of cryptocurrency at nodes. So this wallet is funding nodes that operate on the blockchain. It collects them depending on, you'll see at the top there, it's got Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're just two of the uh, processes we use to fund that account. So the wallet will in fact collect income from the blockchains. Regardless of what happens in the world, those blockchains, because, you know, hey, Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two main number one and number two cryptocurrencies in the world. XRP, I think, is coming up at number three. There's a few options for them. But ladies and gentlemen, this is not trading. I can't stress that enough. This is a process we're using to collect revenue to turn into member benefits that go in your wallet as part of the process. Okay? Now, wait for it. This is something we've been working on for a long time, and I couldn't believe it. My eyes nearly bugged out of my head this afternoon when this popped into my inbox. Drum rolls. Here's our wallet. And this is where you'll click on the add wallets button and you'll be able to add AU for you and AG for you, silver for you, tokens, and they will go in this wallet. Now, this is the wallet that's linked to the debit card. This has been a long time getting here, but man, this is a major process. I've just picked five other cryptocurrencies there to stick in the wallet just because and you'll see there's no balance there. I literally got this information and the test of the wallet at about 4.30 this afternoon. So I've had no time to test it. The guys in Europe have tested it. They're very confident that everything's working as described. Um, this is what we've been waiting for. This gives us the opportunity to turn metal into cryptocurrency into spendable cash on the fly. 
You don't need to worry about where are you going to sell this metal. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, when you've got AU4U and AG4U tokens, you won't have to worry about what the sell price and the buy price are. That's all based on the spot price. So it's a unique opportunity. It will change our lives. I can't tell you how excited I am about this wallet. It really is great news. We'll be, uh, I did have a call scheduled for nine o'clock tonight, so in just about an hour. And they've just had, they messaged me just before I started the webinar to say, oops, got a problem on the servers. We need to postpone 24 hours so we can do the next level of testing from our end. So I will be passing this wallet on to a few people uh, in the team to test it, have a play with it, put some Bitcoin in it or whatever they want, and we'll have a play with it. But this is where our digital tokens will be listed. And that means all of our tokens, all of our gold and silver is available to anyone in the world. We're no longer restricted to Australia or Southeast Asia. We own it. We can supply anywhere in the world. And there's no freight because this wallet allows the person to buy the tokens. And if they want to convert it into cash, they don't have to go to a bullion dealer. They can do it on the wallet and convert it into money. It's really, really cool technology. Uh, thanks, Chris. Yeah, it is truly excellent. Uh, been a long time coming, lots of sweat and grief. And in fact, I had a conversation with Dan McCloskey, I think yesterday, and we were bemoaning the fact that this damn wallet wasn't ready yet and we were sweating on it. And this afternoon it came through. Really excited about it and love it. Just absolutely love it. So let's have a look at this. How do you increase the yield in your wallet? Okay, we've now got three different income streams that are going to go into member benefits. But if you want to make as much money as possible, what you need to do is recruit some people. Number one, every time an affiliate registers that you've recommended, you get $30 into your e-wallet. And in the coming weeks, you're going to be able to instantly be able to convert that into metal or cryptocurrency or AU4U tokens. Doesn't matter. You get 2% if you've got an affiliate registered and they buy metal, you get a 2% fee on their metal. Unique. And you get access to the lifestyle bonus up to $750,000 a week. Yep, that's a real number. I've done the maths, I've done the calculations, it adds up. $750,000 a week, the lifestyle bonus is capped at. Not a small amount. You increase the loyalty pool every time you register somebody. Now, I know some of you are going to say, hey, the number's not going up on the da dashboard. I know. It's a problem. I've got our guys looking at it. We're transitioning from the original developers that we bought the software from into people that I trust. And so these guys have got to actually undo the software to work out where the transactions are happening. They're working on it and we will get that sorted. The loyalty pool is going up. It's just not displaying. And you will increase the arbitrage pool. So by simply recruiting a couple of people, you're going to increase your revenue from this business a lot. As a percentage, a huge amount. Understand the outcomes. We have access to a system today that is unique in the world. It doesn't exist anywhere else. And as we first talked about, when we first talked about AU4U, if it's not here and we don't have a measure of control, we're not doing it. I got heavily recruited to try and bring this team into a, uh, a fundraising platform that was designed to uh, get capital. Uh, it was a blockchain process, et cetera. And because it was run from Hong Kong, 
I said, no, thank you. Well, guess what? Now everyone's aware of the fact that they can't find the guy that runs it and they've made off with their money. Surprise, surprise. This is based here in Brisbane. I'm, in fact, in the morning, I'm driving to the vault to check some assets over there, make sure it's all on the shelf. I have absolute confidence that our people at the vault are keeping the place in order. I want to bring them up to speed on where we're going with the tokens because all the gold and silver in that AU4U system for tokens is coming from that vault and it will all be accounted for there. So what happens if you then get those affiliates to recruit somebody? Now you make $9 from every indirect affiliate recommended you get 1% from their metal purchases, you increase the volume for the lifestyle bonus, you increase the loyalty pool, and you've just increased the arbitrage pool again. Because remember, when they register, they don't qualify for arbitrage for 90 days. All of that margin goes into the arbitrage pool that you qualify for. Hence, bigger returns. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've now given you all the tools. We need to get some people in this business and take off with it. Once we get organized and we can publish this wallet, once we've got the card uh, where we'll be testing all of that connectivity in the, in the coming week or two, I am excited to say the least. We just need to do what we can. If you need to create an income stream, we've just given you the tool to do that. So remember, everything we knew as normal has gone and it's unlikely to come back. This Heineken flu has, has just changed everything in the world. And we need a process to get ourselves back on top. And we've just given you all the tools. As Jan said, three new people each will be a huge benefit. It will increase the arbitrage pool. It will increase the loyalty pool. It will increase everything that you get out of this business. Every week, the economic news gets worse and it continues to get to do so. Don't panic, Jonesy. We got gold and silver, baby. And next week, that's going to say, and cryptocurrency. So find another program that lets you save your own metal insures and stores it for free. On top of that, you get paid member benefits in metal for just doing your own savings. Now, there's a prize if you can find one, and this challenge has been out there now for, I think, four weeks, and nobody has shown me anything like this. I'm staggered that people still look at this and, and want to debate what's going on because member benefits are free. You get it for free. It goes in your wallet. You can spend it. You can do everything you want with it. It's yours. The company has no hold on it. You can withdraw it the next week or the next day. Everything that we've set out to do is coming to fruition. Now all we need is a couple of million members. So remember... You don't need to be a salesperson to succeed with Gold Rocks and AU for you. You can be your own bank, hold and use money in spendable assets, just like we've shown you tonight. It is unique in the world. It gives you the tools to protect yourself. Real, physical gold and silver. Everyone goes forward together. Has anyone got any questions on what we've talked about tonight? Unmute yourself. Type in a question if you can type faster than me, which is chronically slow. But if you want to ask a question, I'm happy to answer them based on anything that we've talked about tonight. Just one other thing, Derek, on the, on the wallet. It is multi-currency. So yes, it is. It, um, if, if and when we finally get out of the panic and flu and you want to do some travelling, there's no currency exchange. You simply use your own wallet. Correct. The, the wallet will handle any currency, any commercial currency. So all we've got to do is make sure that we tick all the boxes. Uh, you can be in England, you can be in America, you can be in the Bahamas. It does not matter. The wallet will operate in your native currency. 
So just make sure that you understand what you now have access to. This is unique in the world. Multi-currency, multi-asset. We've got systems in place that secure everything that you've got in this business. Wow. I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic that we've kicked these goals so far. We've got a lot more to come, a long way to go, but it's actually working. Any more questions? That was a good point, Dan. I forgot to mention that the wallet was multi-currency. Yes, Stephen. Um, yeah, just one um, concern. I, I recall that um, early in the piece, if you happen to be one day late on one of your months, you had to start all over again yes. for another three months. Yep. Is that still the case? I will once it's fully automatic, it's absolute. We won't be able to interact with it. So that's why we keep harping on buy your metal before the end of the month. Do it on the 20th or something like that. Don't leave it till the last day. Yeah. Um, but so what happens to that, um, to those little bits of, of credit? that have accumulated all that time so far? They go into the pool. What pool? Well, the loyalty pool, the arbitrage pool, all of that. But they're not accessible to me anymore. Well, so, once you're qualified, it's, okay, 30, well, it's 90 days for the arbitrage pool. Right. So I've, Once you're I've, qualified, you have to I've do one BB months. a month to stay qualified. It's so in the if software. You, if you miss miss one month, you start again. You're back to zero. Yep. That doesn't seem fair to me. Well, okay. I, I don't know just how a, else you do it because we can't just give it away. It's not free money. Why not? It's a qualification process. Okay. You make the rules. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I don't, didn't make the rules. I'm telling you what they are. I didn't make the rules. It's a company-organised system, and I've had some input into them, but I have not. I certainly am not the arbiter of the rules. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. We seem like we've... We've got there. Uh, yeah, thanks, Jeff. Malcolm. Look, we've got some other things in the in the pipeline that are months away yet, but this is going to continue to get better as we go along. It's an amazing outcome. To have that wallet turn up today, we've been sweating on it for a long time. It's going to give us a connection to a MasterCard that ties directly into that wallet. So you can convert metal to cryptocurrency to cash on the fly as we originally set out to do. That's why it's such a good idea. I love it. A lot of sleepless nights gone into that, I can tell you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if we've got no more questions, Doug and Jenny, just don't forget to buy your goals every month. Yep. Do your purchase early in the month. Do it in the first week of the month or the second week of the month. Do not leave it till the last day because there's only got to be a glitch in the internet. Um, if the internet's down at the vault and your order doesn't get processed, you've missed out. Please don't do that. Do it early in the month. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate you being here tonight. I'm excited. I know there's a few other people that are excited. I had conversations with them today. It is just outstanding that we've got this opportunity it's fantastic thanks jan yes there is a qualifier in every company and it's 90 days so it's not that big a deal okay everyone thanks for joining us we look forward to seeing you on the golden beaches of the world have a great night